Suyiji was born on April 6, 1990 in Seoul, South Korea. Not much is known about her childhood and family. She attended Yeongwon Middle School and thereafter studied at the Yongshan High School. She planned to become a television news presenter and went to Spain to major in journalism. So had no plans to pursue a career in acting but things took a different turn when she caught the attention of the CEO of her then management company, Made in Chan Entertainment, who persuaded her to venture into acting. In March 2013, she stepped in the entertainment industry by appearing in an advertisement for SK Telecom. In May 2013, she featured in the Samsung Galaxy S4 short film Love Assaying the Role of Minju. She debuted as an actress in the TVN sitcom Potato Star 2013 QR3 which aired for 120 episodes. She next starred in the NBC historical drama Diary of a Night Watchman where she essayed a major role for which she was nominated at the 2014 NBC Drama Awards in the Best New Actress category. Her other popular projects were Marim School, Saga of the Brave, Warren, Save Me and Lawless Lawyer. As well, the show that you probably know her from It's Okay to Not Be Okay. Even though she had a great career, scandals kept following her. The first scandal about her came out in 2014. A netizen posted online, claiming, So Yiji bullied me in middle school and even extorted me. After So made her debut in TVN's Potato Star 2013 QR3, the alleged bullying victim posted photos of So during her middle school years, but it didn't get much traction as So wasn't yet the K-drama queen that she is now. So's fans also hit back by questioning the veracity of the photos and the victim's claim of being So's former classmate, saying that the old photos don't bear much resemblance to So in the present day. But these accusations two years ago resurfaced. Another netizen stepped forward on April 13, 2021 to corroborate the previous rumors. This netizen also claimed to be a victim of So's bullying, sharing a photo of their middle school yearbook as proof and adding, So Yiji went for plastic surgery around her middle school graduation, and that's why people couldn't believe those photos are actually of her. Korea Boo also reported that the victims offered an explanation as to why they didn't speak up about the issue earlier, saying, the reason why the school violence and bullying didn't blow up at the time is because we're all mothers now. It's hard for mothers to step forward and come out like that. However, also on April 13, Sia's agency refuted all these accusations in a statement, saying, regarding the suspicions of school violence that were additionally raised, we inform you that they are completely false. The second scandal happened in 2017. Another accusation involves So's educational background. During an appearance on the variety TV show Knowing Brothers in March 2017, she shared her experiences in Madrid, Spain, where she said she studied abroad for three years. She replied yes when one of the hosts directly asked, did you go to the university there to study? And in an interview with TV Daily in 2014, she said she wanted to become a news anchor and decided to study abroad in Spain, as studying Spanish is interesting. In another interview with IZE magazine the same year, she even talked about racial discrimination she experienced from her professors in Spain. Puzzlingly, she openly contradicted her own statements in an interview with Woman Sense in 2017, saying that she couldn't understand why people were making up rumors, referring to comments about her studying in Spain. I have never been to university in Spain and never even dreamed of becoming a news anchor, she said simply. Yet again, So's agency came out with an official statement, saying, So Yiji was admitted to Complutense University of Madrid in Madrid, but after starting her activities in Korea, she was not able to normally attend university. After the statement was made, Korean media outlet Yonhap News reached out to the university for comment, but the only response they received was that they cannot share private details. The third scandal happened in 2021. On April 14, after So's romance scandal made headlines, an anonymous staffer from It's OK to Not Be OK, the hit Netflix K-drama that catapulted So to greater fame, posted online saying that they were verbally abused by So, and that So asked them to buy cigarettes for her. They added that they couldn't record any videos for evidence as So checked staff's phones periodically. 
I would cry and tell my company that I didn't want to work with her, but they always told me to suck it up and do it to help further my career, the netizen said. I ended up working with her for a few years because of that. The supposed former staffer also alleged that So would vent her frustrations on her team if there were negative rumors around her and that the actress would threaten to fire her staff and prevent them from getting other jobs in the industry if she ever caught them spreading falsehoods about her. As netizens demanded a statement from So, another staff member who worked with her for around five years, from 2015 to 2020, stepped up to defend her. The So Yiji I know often expresses her gratitude by saying, Thank you for all your work, she said in a blog post. She has never considered the staff as someone who are lower than her, neither has she treated us poorly in any way. The fourth scandal that shocked the whole Korean entertainment. Her past romance with Kim Young hyun On April 12, 2021, Dispatch published a report about the 2018 K-drama Time, which Kim starred in. The article outlined comparisons between Time's original script and the final version used in the broadcast, pointing out that 13 scenes, including physical contact between the main characters, Kim and Girls' Generation Seo Hyun, were changed or removed. Dispatch further suggested that Kim was ordered not to film any romantic scenes in the drama by So, his girlfriend at the time. However, some K-drama and K-pop fans directed their anger at Kim rather than So, for supposedly capitulating to her unreasonable requests. The report came after Kim was criticized for his behavior at a press conference for the drama, in which he answered questions unenthusiastically and shot his co-star odd looks. Time was also Seo Hyun's first lead acting role, so some of her fans might have thought the cutscenes undermined her success in the series. Kim wrote a letter of apology on April 14, just a day after So's agency issued its statement. He said that Time might have been his first leading role, but he deeply understands that he brought deep disappointment and pain to the show's director, screenwriter, actors, and staff. He said he brought the shameful incident upon himself due to personal issues and apologizes without making any excuses. He did not, however, refute accusations that So told him not to do the scenes. Meanwhile, So's agency described the scandal as personal immature feelings in a romantic relationship in an official statement. Kim also made a request to So, who was filming a different drama, to not film Kiss scenes, the statement continued. Amid these allegations, Seo withdrew from the ongoing production of the Korean drama Island. According to the production, her character would be recast and rewritten. Dispatch uncovered and reported acrimonious text messages between the actress and her then-boyfriend Kim Young hyun The Dispatch report included text messages that were alleged to be between the celebrity couple, in which Seo forbade Kim from making any skinship or physical contact with anyone, especially with his co-star, Seo hyun Since that scandal, for 10 months So was quiet. On February 27, 2022, she released a statement in which she said that she was sorry and was reflecting on herself, basically, the same thing that everyone says after they do something bad. She even got involved in a problem related to her family. It was belatedly known that So Yiji had a conflict with the neighbors living near her parents' house over parking last year. In this case, So Yiji posted an official apology. The same year, Seo starred in the TVN melodrama Eve. Although she made her bold return with Eve, a lot of people said they would not watch it, as she did not address all her scandals. It is not sure where she is now. It seems she tried to step back to the industry with Eve. However, the audience was still not welcoming. It is going to be really hard for her to come back due to the scandals she got involved in. We will have to wait and see how everything is going to plan out. Cumpleaños feliz, cumpleaños feliz, cumpleaños querida mamá, cumpleaños feliz. Thank you for watching and if you have any recommendations for the next video, please leave a comment below.